Hi guys, welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video. We sell all the coolest Japanese collectibles and figurines straight out of Japan. And you can find out more details about us in the description of this video, including our Facebook page and our eBay store. So today uh, we're going to be looking at the Super Saiyan Vegeta Resolution of Soldiers. This is a uh, new line of figures released by Banpresto. The first one was Super Saiyan Goku, which I think came out in July 2016. And then a month later, we had Super Saiyan Vegeta. We also already know the next four figures in the lineup. We have uh, Hercule, or Mr. Satan, who's actually coming out later this week. And then next month, which is December 2016, we have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. And then early in 2017, we have Future Trunks with long hair. And then we also have recently had Super Saiyan Vegito announced in the lineup. Now, Banpresto have actually, uh, I believe they've said that they have finished the Master Stars piece line. So this is kind of, I think, the replacement of that as kind of their, just another figure uh, or line of figures that they've got out. But uh, let's firstly have a look at the box because I just love the, the box artwork for these figures. So that's obviously the front of the box and then we have the side, the back. There are two versions uh, with this, well, I mean, you only get one version in the box, but as is common these days, there's like a grey B version, but unlike the S Cultures, it's actually quite a sort of shiny, it's almost like a black uh, figure as well, so it does kind of look cool, but I think most people are going to want the, the A version, which is the, the version that we sell, and then just the, the top there with the gold Toei Animation uh, sticker. Um, but yeah, pretty big box. I mean, it's actually the figure only goes into this The part there that you can see In here, so there's a lot of empty space. But anyway, let's get the box out of the way now it does come with a stand Which looks like this It's a round just a round black stand, but this is also fine, it, you know, it stands fine as well and it's got the, the holes in that. Um, fairly large figure, it's about 18 centimeters. So that's, uh, what, about seven inches, maybe? So, <clears throat> yeah, let's have a closer look at the, the figure. Now, I'm actually really impressed with two things of this figure. The first is the paint job. And uh, it's got a lot of toning in there. It's not just a monotone blue or a monotone white. They've really used lots of different color variations. It's a bit hard. It's probably a little bit too much light in this video. But the white there goes from a white to almost a gray. And then the blue, as you can see, also goes from like a light blue to quite a dark blue. So it's, it does look very, very impressive in that sense. And they also got the hair, I think, looking pretty good. It's a very rich yellow, which tends to be the, the yellow that I like them to use the most. And the other thing I wanted to point out is the sculpt job. It's very high quality. You can see there's deliberately sort of little marks. And you can see even his gloves, it's, it sort of looks a little bit torn. So they've gone to a lot of effort to make it just look that little bit cooler. It's a bit hard to see. Again, there's a bit too much light, but there are little chinks and things you can see here where my my thumb is, where uh, the you know they've they've given that level of detail as well. Just again to make it look a bit more authentic. But you can see just all the detail there in the muscles. It looks very uh, impressive. I'm not sure what the stance is exactly meant to to show. Whether it's whether he's meant to be wiping some blood away from his face or whatever it is, but anyway, that's what they went. What well, that's what they went with. So I think that's probably the best best look. But I mean, you could also do it that way if you wanted. But there's no there's no sort of blood or anything on the or you know painted blood on the figure. But of course, you could do that uh, customize if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, overall, I think a fantastic figure. Probably the only thing that I would complain about with this figure is that the, if I just show a couple of comparison figures here of Vegeta, Vegeta always has the, the sort of brown 
three stripes on the front of his foot. And they haven't got that here. Now, I don't know, maybe my memory isn't that great of the series, but I always thought that he always had that type of boot on. So I'm willing to be proven wrong on that. But in any case, they don't have it. And it's it's quite hard to show, but the mold... The mold actually did kind of have a flat spot at the front of the foot. So I don't know, maybe they kind of planned for it and abandoned for it. I can't see why technology would have been a limiting factor. Uh, but let me just get the other figure in there that I was going to show. But um, anyway, for whatever reason, it doesn't have that. And also the future trunks that's coming out uh, early next year, the prototype images also show that trunks is going to have just the the pure white uh boots which i also think might be might be wrong so it'd be interesting to see if they correct that um but aside from that i think this is a really nice figure and uh as i said really cool lineup coming up as well so if you're into you know collecting lines and getting you know figures all consistent with the same bases and the same size and that sort of thing then this is a really cool um, series to get into so that was the super saiyan vegeta resolution of soldiers um, as always there's a link in the description of the video to take you to the item page for that thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video